Hello, Internet. Is there anything worse than Monday? I don't think so. Okay, okay, there is, but to all of you regular fellas, Monday is just the worst. A lot of stress at work, you hate your colleagues, and you are the furthest away from the weekend. To help you release some stress, I will pitch you a movie. Sit down, relax, grab something to eat and enjoy. I am Andreas, here to make your movie experiences better. Today on Movie Monday, I bring you The Accountant. Director Gavin O'Connell brings us this two-hour-long action drama starring Ben Affleck, J.K. Simmons, John Bernthal and Anna Kendrick. Ben Affleck plays a socially awkward, autistic man who is better with numbers than Yoda with the Force. Why? You know why? Do you want to know? Because he's Batman! No? Nothing? Okay, moving on. He uncooks the books for a new client as bodies start to drop around the missing money. Meanwhile, the treasury department, led by J.K. Simmons, uh, tries to find him in hopes of getting all the information about the criminals. Affleck plays the lead very well. He has come a long way since just being the face for women. His portrayal, timing, makes for some really good jokes and illustrates how in real life people may feel around others with this kind of disorder. Throughout the movie we find out how he became the person he is today and why he does the things the way he does. J.K. Simmons, though used very little in the movie, gives his very best in all of the scenes he's in. He's one of the greatest actors living today. By the way, did anyone else notice that this is a Batman prequel? I mean, I mean... Batfleck and the soon-to-be Commissioner Gordon in one movie. He even has a girl with a computer who helps him. I mean, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, hey, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure. Right. And there is this. John Bernthal plays this mysterious hitman type guy. He has some of the greatest lines in the movie. Although, if you pay attention during the movie, you will probably find out who his character is later on. Anna Kendrick was also good in the movie, although her main purpose was only to make Batman's, I mean, Ben Affleck X, you know what, I'm gonna call him Batman from today. Her main purpose was only to make Batman's character more relatable, and to give some reason to more action scenes. Up until the end, it feels like three different short movies, but in the end it is tied together pretty well. Sometimes it slows down, but this gives time to character development. All in all, I would give it a must-watch label, or if you like numbers more, an 8 out of 10. I will put a link for the trailer down below. Have you seen the movie? What did you think? Did my suggestions help? Uh, whatever your answer is, comment down below. And if you liked the review, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with your friends. And as always, thank you for watching.